Touristics Pond. Just going to do um, a spot of winter fishing. Just go through the baits and then we'll uh, get on the box and uh, see what tackle we're going to use. Today I've got a, a selection of a few baits. Obviously with it being winter, they're not going to be feeding as much and they're going to be using you know, different kind of baits. And we're, we're not always aiming for bigger fish in winter. It's, it's more of catch what you can catch and, and have a good session. So no winter session I ever come to. I, I always come with mixed maggots. It's, it's something that you've got to have in winter. It's every fish will eat them. You know they're great, great for uh, all species, and you just can't come winter fishing without them. Second thing that I've brought is hemp seed. It's just normal cooked, soaked hemp, hemp seed. Again, it's something I always use in winter fishing. Fishing, it's a good attraction. So that's getting those carp grubbing, and you know, genuinely a really good booster. People sometimes think sweet corn's a summer bait, but it's not. It's, it's a winter bait as well, and. I always come bring sweet corn. It's it's a bright colour, it smells sweet, and you know it's it, it's a good, really good attractor, especially to pick out those odd carp. Again, worms can't beat a good wiggly worm. Winter fishing again, it's fantastic. It's good all year round, but especially in the winter, I like the the live baits and the things that look more natural and they're not spooked as much in the winter. I've also brought some some micro pellets that are. Uh, only two mils. I'm just going to uh, soak them slightly in water, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And uh, we've just got tiger fish flavour and just basically just a few fish enhancers in it. Low, quite low oils in it because you don't need a lot of oil in, in the uh, in the winter because it just starts to smoke your fish a bit. And you know, the last thing I've got is just some dyed uh, crumb, just some red colour, just a, a bit of a predatory kind of colour. Just not, I'm not mixing it up heavy, just nice and light, just boost through air just to get them feeding. It's not there's not much in it so you don't want it really heavy because it'll over it'll overfeed them. You just want a nice light cloud of it. So I'm gonna start by I've just put a bit in a bowl. I'm just gonna add a, a, a real small touch of water. Start bringing it in front outside with open fingers. Put a bit more water in it. That should be enough. Bring it together into a nice mix. So it's all, all mixed well. And what we're going to do is just put a touch of empty in there. Just give it a bit of boost. And we're going to leave that because about five minutes time it'll dry, dry out slightly. We don't want it too heavy. So at the moment it looks wet but it, in, within ten minutes it'll have soaked up all the bread and it'll be drier. And we'll, uh, it'll give a nice uh, good cloud. The last... Uh, Last thing we're going to do is pour a bit of water out of there. Just got some water here. I'm going to put my pellets in it. Some pellets in. Just so they're soaked. Just want to just be covered like that. And leave those for about 10 minutes. And they'll soak them up, double in size, and then they'll sink. So otherwise they'll just float to start off with. So meet me on my box and we'll check the tackle out and see what we're going to catch. Hi, you meet me on my box. I'm just going to go through tackle with you. And, uh, and the rigs and, the, and what I'm going to do in the game plan for today. Um, I'll start off with uh, my, my uh, main line. It's uh, Fish and Innovations line. I um, I only use for winter, say probably about a, a two and a half pound line. So it's uh, it's only soft. I mean, it, it, I'm using a soft elastic today. I'm using uh, 11 11 H. It's uh, slacked off, so it's very stretchy. Just in case we have we catch any any car. Um, I've got um, a Preston PB float. It takes four number eights. It's uh, metal metal stem to keep it st uh, stable. Shot it right down. Obviously for delicate bites. Um, but there's some uh, rough carp in here, so still need a, a, a quite strong float, you know, to uh, to cope with that. Um, shot in pattern. I've put down the down the line. I've put five number eights and uh, a bit of putty so I can get it. Um, you know, just right, and then I've got a dropper shot about an inch away from um, two inches, I have to say, actually, from a size 18 uh, PR36 hook. It's um, a really, really strong hook, PR36, actually, and, and I use a tiny hook because obviously we've, uh, we're not aiming for absolutely massive fish today, but this hook will more than cope with, uh, with anything that we, uh, we, we catch today. Um, the uh, Hook links um, two pounds, so it's 
it's two and a half to three pound main line and uh, two pound uplink. Um, it's camo line, so it's it's really uh, light in the water. And if you have a look at the water, it's um, quite a, like a greeny coloration, so you won't actually uh, see the line in this colour. This. So um, what I'm going to do is run through my game plan. Obviously, I've got a cad pot on top of uh, on top of my section, and that's just to cup in, you know, little and often. Maybe I might even just cup in once, you know, every every two casts, because obviously I don't want to overfeed them. Um, and I'll I, every every so often I'll do a tiny bit of pellet and a tiny bit of hemp seed, and and a couple of grains of sweet corn, and then next next one I'll put a couple of bits of maggots in. And, and, and a bit of hemp and I'll just alternate it like that and then probably after every 10 casts I'll put a tiny nugget of um, ground baiting just to you know keep them interested like I say it's a light one so it's just hazy and I'm, I'm going to start by um, hooking two, uh, two uh, maggots I'll start with a white and a red and uh, we'll see if we can go from there and the shipping pole out, make sure it's nice and low Keep it nice and steady, both your rollers. Keep, keep glancing back, back to your rollers so you know when end of pole is going to come off so you don't get out of there. Nice and steady, run it three hands. When you get to uh, the spot, I always pick a marker. I've picked a, a, white, a white marker on the bank. And I know exactly where end of section is. Tip it in. And then always lift your, your bait out up. Pull it out water and drop it back down. Beautiful little roach down it. Really cool. Thank you. 